Hello everybody, welcome back to Northwest Swing Shooters. My name's Rob. Today I'm out here in Southern Idaho and we're gonna be looking for quail. I got Dizzy and Coop with me. Coop's ready to go. Dizzy? Dizzy's ready to go. Dizzy's second season. Cooper, this is our 11th season, bud. He's still hunting. We're gonna let him hunt as long as he wants to. This weekend, quail, Huns and Chucker opened here in Idaho. Uh, unfortunately, I was out working while everyone else was hunting, but uh, it's all right. I'm out here today, so we'll call this our opener. It's gonna be a quick morning hunt. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty hot today. It's gonna get up to 88 degrees. So hopefully we get into a couple coveys quick and get a few birds and get out of here. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please be sure to like it down below and subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps me out. We'll see you out in the field. I'd like to thank Dogtra for their continued support of the channel. For your e-collar or GPS collar needs, visit dogtra.com. Use my code NWING5 at checkout for 5% off your purchase of $200 or more. There's a lot of poison ivy around here, poison oak. We've had a lot of water this year, more than usual, and I suppose that's why. Gotta be careful about what I'm touching. Make sure I give the dogs a good wash, too. The scent is just running Cooper in circles. I can see all the droppings on the leaves down there. This is obviously a spot where they hang out for water. It's pretty early, though, so they're probably in, cubbied up somewhere, where they, wherever they spent the night. Whoa. Dead bird. Good boy. Dead bird. Yes. Good boy. Dead bird. Find it dead. Dead. Good boy. Good boy, bring it here. Good boy, here. Good.
Good boy. Good boy, Coop. That a boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, leave it. Good. Good boy. Well, that was pretty cool. We were just cresting this ridge and I get the notification from my uh, dog to a pathfinder that Cooper's on point. That's always a great feeling. I seen him as I crested the ridge. Dizzy, I woed her up. She kind of hesitated a little bit. Then she saw Cooper and she froze up. She's already honoring. She was probably 30 yards away from him and she was on point too. I come up on Cooper's point as you guys saw and, and that bird got up a little far out. It was obviously running out. You could see him start to creep a little bit and relocate, which he does. But uh, I made a great shot on it and uh, he went and got it. Cooper's having a heck of a day. Dizzy's doing great too. She hasn't made any finds of her own yet, but she's honoring and uh, she's hunting good. So I'm really happy with how she's doing today too. We're not gonna hunt too much longer. It's pretty warm. Uh, I was actually cresting this hill to get down in this draw and see if we could get into any uh, quail. That's why I came out here. I came out here to hunt quail, but uh, I'll take some hunts. <laughs> Down here in this brushy draw hunting quail and there's Chucker up there calling. I go I was thinking about going and getting them, but I think it'd be best if we don't. I don't want him to overdo it. Eleven years old, we gotta pace him. This is our first hunt out. I don't wanna drag him up there. It's still September, so it's warm out. All right, everybody. Well, on behalf of Dizzy and Cooper and I, we hope you enjoyed coming along on that hunt with us. It was supposed to be a quail hunt. Uh, we did find some quail. Cooper didn't, uh, Cooper didn't hold them. I think uh, the wind was at his back and it was a little tough for him to send them. It's getting pretty warm, so we're calling it a day. And tomorrow what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it a little easier. We're gonna go hunt some flatter land for quail. Just hunt the morning. It's supposed to be a little bit cooler. Anyway, uh, we'll see you back out in the field tomorrow on quail. We're out here hunting quail today. We've already been hunting quail. Uh, it was a little dark this morning to do the intro and we just kind of wanted to get right into the action and we did. I'm out here with uh, Mike and Christy. Hello. And uh, we've had a we've had a pretty fun shoot. The birds were kind of cagey this morning, weren't they? And high in the trees. Yeah, they weren't cooperating. I'm gonna stay out here. They've got to take off. They've got kind of a long drive home. So uh, the second half of this part of the video will be just me and the dogs. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you out in the field. All right, let's go. Oh look, there's a bunch that just flushed up out of the grass. Yeah, maybe we'll push them into huntable, more huntable area. Where is it? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they're Houdinis. I swear I heard quail up here. There they are. Do you want me to walk through it and you guys shoot? You guys are the guests here. They're up in the trees. Dizzy, come here. I'm gonna be on your left side, okay? Okay. Maybe they all flushed out already. Oh, there goes son. Yep. That's what we're here for, boys. Let's find them. There goes one. We just need one to give us a shot. Yeah. They're, no, they're just staying on this tree line. <laughs> you want me to go flush it? 
gonna be hard to get good dog work in this tree stand, but because they're all up off the ground. They're just such an interesting bird because of their cover. They're so hard to hunt. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll bet they come out of this during the day. Well, they do, and that's part of the reason why I don't like hunting them this early. Right. Because we're busting them from their roost. Right. Well, there went one. They're just, these are smart birds. Maybe we'll catch those birds on the way out in, in better cover. We're not even to where I usually park yet. Oh, <laughs> nope. This is like the uh, the appetizer. So warm up the dog. <laughs> Got your robin permit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I see one. I see the sentry. Come on over here and play with us. There goes one right there. Yeah, do you see that? There's a pretty large covey that lives in that stand of olives out in the middle. Oh, really? Yeah, a little further, like quarter mile or so away. Ah. If we can get them out of there, we can uh, have a pretty good time hunting singles. That's when you get really good dog work on quails when you get them split up. Separated? Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, there's some right here. Cooper just bumped some right here. I'm gonna walk through here and see what else I can get out. I'll bird dog them for you guys. Oh, here they go. Your way, heading your way, Mike. Did we kill it? Sage rockets. I'm gonna walk right through it and see if there's anything left. It's a bunch of them flushed from behind me. I heard those ones, so that's kind of what I was looking at, was that way, and then they started cutting this way in front of the tree. They flushed from this group of brush right here and went over my head. They will hold so tight when they're split up. You have to near step on them. Dizzy pointing. Dizzy's on point, where's she at? Pointing. Oh, she is on point. <laughs> Where at? Right here, between us. Oh, so yeah, they're in there then. Oh, here goes. It's in this tree right here, I think. I don't see it, but... This is where it landed. It landed in this one. There it goes. That's the first time I've shook shaken one out of a tree. <laughs> it worked, it was effective. <laughs> but I say we just stick with the plan and I think I heard more calling before we even got into these up around this corner. Yeah, yeah, I heard those. After it. I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> they hold so tight. Obviously. Dizzy pointed it a couple times but she wasn't sure and then I uh, Out of it. Yeah, well, especially when they just flew, yeah. they get wind washed. Right. That's why quail can be so hard to retrieve for a dog. Because right. they just don't have a lot of scent on them to begin with. I think I just heard some over there. Did you hear that? We're covered in quail, guys. Yeah. We need to get them, we need to get some uh, real opportunities, though. Okay. They've been kind of okay. messing with us, huh? That was a lot of birds. One just flew right between us, Mike. Really? Yeah. There goes a bunch more. Dude, there's a ton of birds in here. Did you see all those birds? There had to have been at least 30. Really? Yeah. Which weight they had. 
straight away. No, they didn't fly far either. Oh yeah, there's tracks everywhere. I got one. Dead bird. You get one, Mike? Dead bird. Dead bird. Right here. Find it. Dead. Hunt dead. I dusted it. It's got to be on the ground right here somewhere. My other hound over here. Yeah, he is. Fine bird, my love. It's hard when they don't mark it, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, here's a feather right here. Find it. Oh, Cooper's got it. Good boy, buddy. Good. Bring it here, bud. Here. First quail of the year, bud. Alright. Good boy. Alright. Good boy. It's a male, too. Wasn't off of a point, but it's a wild flush. Cooper, yeah, I don't know. I, I think my dogs were pushing him. Because Dizzy was on, Dizzy went on point over there and right. they're just not holding. Because they're all grouped up. Yeah. And they're out in the open like this. There's another covey calling. What's that? There's another covey calling at like 11 o'clock. That means those are, they're undisturbed birds because they won't call for a while after they've been disturbed. So that's a whole, that's another covey. Pointing. Dizzy's on point right here. Dead bird. Dizzy dead. Dizzy, come here. Dead bird. Atta girl, Diz. Good girl. Good girl. Bring it here, sweetie. Diz, touch it up. Bring it here. Oh, well, good girl. Oh, thank you. Good dogs. Dizzy pointing. Is Dizzy right there? She's on point, it says. Do you see her? Yeah, I'm not about Oh, yeah. There it goes. Missed it. Good girl, Diz. Good girl, Dizzy. I'm trying to pretend it's a girl, so I can Good girl. They're fast, man. It's a whole nother ball game. It is. I've been I've been behind every one except yeah. this la yeah. this last one I shot on the first shot, but the other one I missed the behind and then corrected. Is Dizzy on point? I know that last one was a chip shot. Right in front of me. They're all up in this tree over here. Where are you guys at? There's there sounds like there's a ton of them in here. My my dogs are right underneath them. I'm going in. Dizzy pointing. Dizzy's on point.
Here comes more. Here they come. Any luck? You see the one, is there one in the tree between us? Yeah, there's one right up in an open area. Dizzy pointing. I know, you see him, don't you, Diz? Is it up high in the tree? Yeah, it's probably, I don't know, 20 feet off the ground. Was it that one? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it, it's a quail. There it goes. Nice. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Oh, I'm a bird. All right. <laughs> Turns out when you hit them, the dogs can find them. Do you know how I flush that? How? I use the force. <laughs> I love it. That's about how I hit it, too. There's still more birds in here. Cooper pointing. Cooper's on point somewhere. Cooper's on point between us. There it goes. Uh, yeah, I think it went out this side. I can't shoot in here though. There's no way. I would blow it up if I hit it. I see one sitting in the tree up here. It's a male. He's giving me the stink eye. Dizzy pointing. Here we go. Over over the top. Did they? Okay, I'll shake the tree. You got it? I got one over here. Nice. Any luck, Christy? No, I didn't see anything come my way. Okay. Milo, here, I was watching with a sporting clays target, though. Yeah, this is like, uh, yeah, this is just like sporting clays. Like right up over your head, straight in there. This is driven quail. They're pretty good at blending in. There it goes. I don't think I hit that. I don't think so. That was a grouse shot. <laughs> I trimmed the tree. I think I'm done in here. Right. Let's get some dog work, or try to. Crack? Here goes one. God, I could have shot that. I wasn't ready. Dizzy pointing. I just shot a dove. Good girl, Diz. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good. Leave it. Good. There's a dove. Yeah, the dogs are on point right here, and that quail came out of that bush. Just one? Yeah, just one. It yeah. seemed like you guys, you guys were in them over here. Yeah. I didn't see anything over there. Well, Except the doves. Crazy. They'd be up high and we'd almost get by them and then they'd go the other way. But they would be up. And higher in yeah. the bush, off the ground. Yeah. So I just think the dogs are having a hard time picking them up. This one, though, they actually had and then I whipped it twice. I just couldn't get in front of it. <sighs> Man. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. I'm glad we got into birds. I wish that. Yeah. I wish yeah. that they were uh, more cooperative. Definitely hit that one, but it was wounded. See if we can recover it.
Dead. That was a devil. Oh, good dogs. Come on. Good boy. Let's find the other one. I would have swore that Dizzy had one of them. Good boy, Cooper. Good boy, bud. All right, well, that was cool. Double a quail. Off of Dizzy's point. Finally, we got a good point. It's been tough today. Mike and Christy are probably like, he got into birds right after we left him. Sorry guys, if you're watching. Oh, good boy, bring it here. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, you don't like those, do you? Uh. Good boy. Sorry, bud. Dizzy, you gotta point him. I couldn't shoot that because Dizzy bumped it. That has to have been the one he was pointing, though. Dizzy pointing. Good girl, Diz. Good girl. Bring it here. Good. <laughs> Good girl. Another one. Good boy, buddy. Dizzy pointing. Hen. Good girl. Good girl, Dizzy. That was a hen. Good girl, no bird. Good girl. Well, that was a lot of fun hunting with Mike and Christy. I hope we get the chance to do it again. Pretty awesome people. I met some cool people from Instagram. It's like I was telling them, there's not too many of us bird brains around people crazy enough to do this kind of thing. Jump all this money into dogs and gear and come home with a few chicken nuggets. <laughs> but it, we love it. And I could tell they do too. Awesome people. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a really fun time hunting with Mike and Christy. The quail were pretty tricky getting them out of their uh, hiding spots this morning. I kind of bird dogged it for them a little bit. After they left, we definitely uh, turned it on. We got some better dog work uh, off of the ones that were kind of out in the sage and uh, managed a couple doves too, which is pretty cool. Dogs are tired. They've hunted hard two days in a row. It's, pre it's pretty warm. Early season is tough on the dogs for sure. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you do, please like the video. It really helps me out. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. I really want to grow the channel. I've got a lot of cool ideas for this season. Um, and uh, the more people that like the videos and, uh, and subscribe to the channel, the more views I get, which uh, I get a little kickback off the ads. And um, that's going to help me do a lot of the cool things I want to do and share with you guys. So appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time out in the field.